Hello friends, let us now learn some important points about parotid abscess. Parotid abscess is suppuration of the parotid space. The deep fascia, deep cervical fascia splits into two layers that is superficial and deep layers and it encloses the parotid gland. So the parotid gland lies in between the deep, deep superficial and deep fascia. So in parotid abscess uh, is the infection of parotid gland. So this parotid abscess occurs due to dehydration in many surgical uh, patients. In post-surgical patients and in debilitated patients, the parotid abscess occurs due to the stasis of salivary flow, which is due to dehydration. And sometimes uh, the parotid gland drains, always, always the parotid gland drains into the oral cavity through Stenson's duct. So sometimes the infection can spread through the Stenson's duct to the parotid gland resulting in parotid abscess. Sometimes multiple small abscess may form in the parotid gland which will coalesce to form one large abscess. The most common organism causing parotid abscess is Staphylococcus aureus. But sometimes Streptococcus, anaerobic organisms and other gram-negative organisms have also been cultured. So this parotid abscess occurs most commonly 5 to 7 days after uh, this parotid abscess occurs five, four to five to seven days after the surgery, and here the patient presents with swelling and redness in the parotid area and at the angle of ma mandible. The parotid abscess is usually unilateral, and uh, it sometimes bilateral abscess can also occur. Uh, so uh, if you uh, so in th this some the in the parotid gland drains into the oral cavity through the Stenson's duct so sometimes in the parotid abscess the pus can flow from the parotid gland to through the Stenson's duct into the oral cavity so you can see pus which is tracking into the oral cavity through the Stenson's duct especially when you apply pressure over the over the parotid area when you apply a pressure over the parotid area, then obviously the abscess gets compressed and this will result in exudation of pus into the oral cavity. The patient appears to be toxic with fever and he is dehydrated. So diagnosis of this parotid abscess can be by uh, made by ultrasonography or uh, CT scan you can do you can use either ultrasonography or CT scan for diagnosing the abscess and for finding the uh, organism you will have to do aspiration of the parotid abscess is done for for uh, finding the organism then treatment is in first and foremost correct the dehydration give oral fluids and because it is caused by organisms most commonly bacteria like staphylococcal or streptococcus bacilli if we should give intravenous antibiotics should be given and you can also give surgical drainage uh, can be done with the help of local anesthesia or general anesthesia you can you you can do surgical drainage or you can do um, for surgical drainage you should give pre auricular incision and um, you should drain the parotid abscess so this is about parotid abscess thank you for watching my lecture thank you